Hi, Woody Watt here. Welcome back to Football Manager 2020, where we are at the business end of the season looking for automatic promotion. Um, first stage is to get the playoffs um, and a win against Yeovil. Uh, should go a long way to achieving that. Should Morecambe fail to win and we win, uh, the um, playoff spot is secured. Um, that would leave us with six games left. We'd have at least a 14 point lead over Leighton Orient. Um, and yeah, effectively by the end of March, the top three could be uh, could be guaranteed. Um, Tramia should guarantee that in their next game. Um, they would have to lose in Leighton Orient, or Walsall would have to win um, to to prolong that agony. Um, AFC Wimbledon could also do it if if they were to win, um, and. Um, uh, just if they were to win, all eight and Orient and Walsall were both to lose. Um, so let's crack on. We are chasing first and second at the moment, uh, but our form is not fantastic. And third is probably looking the most likely. Oldham at home to AFC Wimbledon, Tramier at home to Cambridge, and most importantly at the moment, Walsall at home to Scunthorpe, and Leighton Orient at home to Swindon. So I would imagine all of them are going to win. Um, we just need to make sure we win our game at home, which is Yeovil Town, um, first and only game of the week for us. Chelsea have had probably the easiest run you can imagine in the FA Cup. Um, looks like they've played League 2 or Championship the entire way. We're in strong form, save for that rather damp squib of a, a, a draw in the last uh, few days. Yeovil chasing a playoff place but we should and are should be and are favourites. Um, I think we're gonna have to bring Longello in for um, Venko. Hume is looking a little tired uh, but I think we're gonna play him anyway. But Gungbo is gonna come back into the side for Jack Bridge. So we'll do ah Jack Bridge can actually go out for Shelton. There we go. Ozinka Hume and Sanders. Put her up front again. Submit that team, let's get on to it. As I say, Hume now chasing the um, the 20 assists mark. The previous record was 16. He's on 18 currently. Um, um, can we go in front of goal? Slight favourite. Bigging up Callum Hume. Right Phillips with a throw in in the first minute. CJ, right Phillips with a chance to cross. Runs at the defender, pulls it back to CJ. He's going to have to cross. He does. Sanders gets up there. But a good clearance by the defender. Weakly. Free kick to CJ, right back. Gets it back from Walcott and gives him it again. Hume now pushes it forward with Wright Phillips over halfway. He runs, cuts inside, gets caught, but Sanders now has it. To Oli Inker, to Hume, to Oli Inker again. CJ's in space on the right, but he turns the other way. Gets caught in possession, but Hume picks up the ball. Sanders looks for Wright Phillips, finds Broha, strikes kick the keeper. Broha's in, deflected. Oh, and Ray Phillips fails to keep it in and it runs out for a corner. Um, let's just leave it as it is for now. In that respect, we are going to go positive though. Because we are the home team. Tramia ones each with Cambridge already in the first five minutes. Cambridge taking the lead initially. Tramia lies in a minute later. AFC Wimbledon lead against Oldham.
No. This isn't going particularly well. We're getting the ball, but not much coming of it. Wimbledon go 2 0 up. Push for a goal before half time, but there's not a lot of action. Two minutes of injury time. Well, well, well. So, Walsall are drawing with Scunthorpe. Leighton Orient drawing with Swindon. We need to win. We are going to just make these guys support Broha. Let's swap these two around. Yeah, let's do that. Cambridge lead a Tranmere. Sanderson to Hume. Hume, great ball out wide to right. Phillips crosses. Over the top of Broha, Oli Inca has it, strike hits the defender. And they bring it away and Arnold pushes forward over halfway for Yeovil. Gives it to Duffus. He gives it to Parker who hits one and it's 1-0 to Yeovil. Oh dear. Yeah, well that's not going Free kick hits the wall. Sanders to Olienka. Ogilumbo with a free kick on the left. Olienka now has it. Gives it to Hume. To Sanders. Oh, what a strike from Sanders. You think the other lad scored a good goal? Check out that goal from Sanders. That is unbelievable. Only the second goal of the season. Another assist for Callum Hume. Um, I think with a strike like this, you should get given the assist as well. First time strike. Must be 25 yards out. 30 yards out. And George Parker's goal looks poor in comparison. Um, Oli Inca not having the best of games, so we're going to look to uh, bring him off. The goal scorer, Parker, goes off injured for um, Yeovil Town. Oli Inca is going to make way for Luke Drea. Um, Alright, Phillips not having the greatest game. I think we might put Brewer on on the right side. We might take White Phillips off for Venko. There you go. I'll find that one. Half an hour to go. Half an hour to find a winner. Bennett injured for. So that's there. Three changes. 20 minutes to go. Fifteen. To push up. Defensive throw in. Mahoney for Yeovil. Goes long. Finds Arnold. Gives it away to Hume. To Dreher. To Longello in space. Romano takes the ball off him. And Lloyd. Knocks it forward but only as far as Sanderson. Dreher to Ugalumba. Lovely pass inside Dreher. Callum Hume can hit one. Oh the keeper with a wonderful save. This kind of game comes alive. Longello crosses, headed away by the defender. Bonomo, Bomono even, brings it away. Ugalumba pulls him back. 
uh, Arturo to trip and it's a yellow card for the lumber. Ten minutes to go. This is a wasted opportunity as it stands. Longello with a corner. It's a good corner. Walcott. Koval with a wonderful save. Another corner. Longello at the take. Oh, her. Off the ball. And Koval picks up the loose ball. How on earth we're not winning this game? I do not know. Five minutes to go. Ugalumba with the throw in. Venko. Ugalumba again. Crosses Kovar easily claimed inside the six yard box. Rolls it out to Shako. Back to Picto. To Bomono. Pressure's coming from Blythe on the ball constantly. They're going to have to go long, I think, uh, Yeovil, if they want to make progress forward. Roy right to Worthington. To Picto. He does go long. Walcott wins it. Dreher to Sanderson. Ugalumba to Dreher. It's a wonderful possession football from Bly. Sanders has it. Chance to cross. Does cross. Longello with a header and Kovar saves. How aren't we winning? How are we not winning? Two minutes remain. We've had 22 shots. Peak tall back with the keeper. 30 seconds of normal time left. Wakely for Yeovil. Goes long. Gives it away to Sanderson. Hume has it to Dreher. Dreher beats his man. Finds Longello into the area. Squares it. Vengo hits the keeper. And it's in from Broha. It's in. That's the winner. Surely the winner. We can take off all of these usual stuff. Regroup, pull, shape, slow pace down, distribute the target man, out of possession, let's just go back to normal, in fact let's go look very low, let's go standard defensive line. Brewers 14th of the season, Drea drifts past his man, gives a lovely ball to Longello, beats his man and squares it, Venko's strike hits the defender, Brewer follows up, Kovar gets a hand to it, but it's in. Six minutes of time added on. Three of those remain. And here come Yeovil Town. Shako. Mahoney blocked, just goes out for a corner. With about a minute and 40 to go, nothing comes of it. 30 seconds remain, Pomono. Brings it forward. Worthington looks left to Duffus. Duffus drifts inside. Not making much progress. 15 seconds to go. Need to get a foot on the ball. Sanders does. Longello has it. It gives it away to Duffus. Six seconds remain. Oh, Longello makes a challenge back. And we'll have a corner to face for three points. Away by Walcott. Back Berry Venko dives in. CJ clears Longello, picks up the loose ball, and it is eventually a win for um, for Blythe, having had 24 shots, 11 of which were on target. Sanders picks up man of the match for that wonder goal. Um, Armando Boer scoring the winner. Callum Hume with another assist. CJ seemed convinced, uh, seemed confused and demotivated. Okay. So, um, Leighton Orient draw with Swindon. Um, Morecambe win 1 0. Um, so it doesn't quite secure a playoff spot yet, I don't think. Nope. Um, AFC Wimbledon win 2 0. Uh, Salford be chilling him. Wow. Um, Newport County win. Tranmere lose 2 1 at home. And Walsall win 4 2. Um, having been 2 1 down. Wow, what a turnaround that is. Um, but 
probably going to lose it. Home to Car uh, Cambridge is a good result for us. Um, so we are 14 points clear of Walsall. Um, so if we win, um, so we need to win our next game and hope that they lose. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if we win our next game, we'll go to 83. That means anyone else on 68 could theoretically catch us. So we need Walsall and Newport County to fail to win and we need to win our next game um, for uh, automatic promotion in the month of March. Um, it's very tight behind that. Walsall could drift out of the uh, out of the playoffs, which is absolutely amazing given where they were earlier uh, in, in the, you know, even just a couple of months ago. Um, we are now four points behind Tranmere, five points behind the FC Wimbledon. We have to play AFC Wimbledon. Um, come from behind the win, that shows character, happy with that. Another 90 minutes for Scott, um, only the nine clean sheets out of 14 so far. And Sanders with a wonder goal. What a goal that was. Okay, um, Chelsea make the semi-finals. If we just actually have a look at their cup run, it's it's unbelievable. I'm sure they've just played um, lower league teams. There was us in League Two, Preston in the Championship, Reading in the Championship, Brentford in the Championship. And then they're going to play Man United, and, so they're going to have to play a Premiership team in the semi-finals. It's a three-horse race by the looks of it for the title. You wouldn't expect Bournemouth to get back into it. Newcastle hanging on in there, but uh, a couple of teams have got games in hand on them. Uh, AFC Wimbledon secure promotion, good for them. Man United Thump Norwich. Man City beat Wolves. We would expect Spurs to be joining them. And they indeed do. Excuse me. Semi finals draws tomorrow. Dodds making a comeback with his fitness. Jack Bridge gets two goals, and so does Terrell Whitaker. So, uh, next up in the big game is Port Vale away. Win that, we could secure promotion. Um, good stuff. It is away from home though, we haven't been very good on the road recently. some players on international duty. Evans gets the Walsall job. Uh, Venko's completed his language course. Speaks good English. Stewart gets an hour. He plays okay. Finland's Lucas Bergstrom. Chelsea draw Man United in the FA Cup. Mm. 
not getting much game time. But we've not really got a future anywhere, I don't think, Dylan Stevenson. Shrews we beat Swindon, which uh, probably makes Shrews be safe, you would think. Swindon, probably safe anyway, to be honest, it looks like. South End and Carlisle are destined to drop out of the Football League. And Paul Vale, going to have to make some changes. Hume, who's now got 19 assists in the league. Um, transfer activity, we better attend a press conference. Um, improve. Showcase his ability. Confident logistic or game plan. Very confident of seeing it through. Uh, can you tell us whether it be available against Paul Vale? Touch and go. True central defender. Uh, no. Uh, how important is it that players are mounted but are ultra consistent for much? Um, there we go. So, we. Um, Oh, hang on a second. What's happening here? So, one me is disappointed with Wally what Watt's comments. Well, leave. Potentially a win from promotion. Right. Um. We need to look at our squad um, because Bergstrom can't play, a gunboat can't play, so we need to go goalkeepers. Matt Weston. Oh, sicky. What's he gets the nod? Matt Weston is our sub keeper. There we go. CJ Walcott, Sanderson, other lumber. Orienka, Hume, Sanders, Wade Phillips, Longello is a bit tired. Why is he in the reserves? Charlton. Oh, Wade Phillips. Um, okay. Got that to worry about now. Hume, wanted by Coventry. One and a half million release clause, that's a better one. <laughs> uh, Oli Inca, we know about. Bergstrom, Portsmouth. 400 grand release clause. Right, so we really need to tie up some of these uh, contracts when we get promoted. Um, but I'm quite happy with. This, with the exception of Longello, who I'm going to take out for Venko. And he's going to play an inside forward role. Okay. And an assistant for that. And that, my good friends, is the end of this episode. Um, come back for the next one. We have a chance of gaining automatic promotion in the very next episode. 
um, which is away at Port Vale. Um, and then we have Scunthorpe followed by AFC Wimbledon. So by then we should be in a race for first and second, you would think. Um, Port Vale away next up. Till next time, stay safe. Bye. -bye.